Yo, what's up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, I want to continue getting into Toby Wigway's catalog. Uh, we started, someone in, actually in the comment section put me on. I've only heard of Eat and then Five Five. And man, I was just hooked. And uh, as of today, it's something like 70 different Toby Wigway breakdowns that we've done. And I'm not talking about just listening and doing a reaction. <clears throat> On this station, we like to do intellectual breakdowns where we talk about the context, we talk about the meaning, what's behind something, so we can understand really their vision of putting out this work. Um, I want to get into something that's listed as Black Renaissance, Toby Wigway, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Um, and that's something, especially if you're familiar with the civil rights um, uh, movement of the 60s and 70s, uh, you probably have heard this term, right? And a lot of people might be asking, especially the younger generation, right? What exactly is the meaning of the revolution will not be televised? Well, it's basically saying that you have to change your mind before you change the way that you live and the way that you move. So when we say the revolution won't be televised, we're saying that the thing that's going to change people is something that no one will be able to capture on film, right? And the civil rights movement you know, think about the timing, uh, right? In uh, 1964, we have the Civil Rights Act, right? Uh, uh, 1966, we have the start of the Black Panther Party. They went through a hell of a lot of drama. But in the early 70s, um, uh, basically, the civil rights movement was starting to fade. Um, and a, a guy by the name of Gil Scott Heron uh, he put together something called The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Um, now, it's actually spoken word. It's actually mixed with some funk, right? Um, and the song's title became more or less a slogan uh, uh, amongst the like black power movement uh, in the U.S., right? Um, so a lot of people were talking about, um, you know, what the revolution won't be, right? What the re revolution will not stand for. Um, but uh, a lot of people, despite all the talk about um, the revolution will not be televised. A lot of people don't understand the origins. And th this is actually a response to another spoken word piece called When the Revolution Comes, uh, something by uh, the last poets. Um, now, I think to understand the revolution will not be televised, I think we need to start with When the Revolution Comes by the last poets. And then after all of that, uh, we can add Toby Wigway's The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, and we can see how it all ties in together. Uh, so I wanted to get right into this. This is The Last Poets, When the Revolution Comes. And again, the next song was in a direct response to this. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, some of us will probably catch it on TV with chicken hanging from our mouths. You'll know it's revolution. That's so bogus. No commercial. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes. Preacher pimps are gonna split the scene with the communion wine stuck in their back pockets. Damn. Maggots won't be so funny then, and all the junkies will quit their nod and wake up when the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, transit cops will be crushed by the trains after losing their guns, and blood will run through the streets of Harlem, drowning anything without substance when the revolution comes. When the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, when the revolution comes. I hope pearly white teeth fall out the mouths that speak of revolution without reference. The cause of it, revolution is 300. It's crazy hearing stuff like this because it's still so relevant, right? We talk about change and change going on in the world. You know, have we really benefited from this after the civil rights movement? What, you know, uh, outside of, um, you know, are, are we in a different place today, right? Why did those, uh, you know, what was the outcome of the uh, of, of the civil rights movement um because you know some would argue that uh, man this is just still so relevant and six degrees understand the cycle that never ends understand the beginning to be the end and nothing is in between but space and time that i make or you make to relate or not to relate to the world outside my mind your mind speak not of revolution until you are willing to eat rats to survive Ooh. when the revolution comes it's like until you're prepared to do the most, right? To to give your life for this or do do something that you would be so out of the ordinary for you. Don't even speak on it until you're able to do what you have to do. When the revolution comes, when 
revolution comes, guns and rifles will be taking the place of poems and essays. Ooh. There's no more peaceful protests, right? Guns and rifles will be replacing poems and essays. Black cultural centers will be fought supplying the revolutionaries with food and arms when the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, white death will form the walls of museums and churches, breaking the line that enslaved our mothers. When the mm. revolution comes, when the revolution comes, Jesus Christ is going to be standing on the corner of Lenox Avenue and 125th Street, trying to catch the first gypsy camp. <laughs> when the revolution comes, when the revolution comes, Jew merchants will give away matzo balls and gefilte fish to anyone they see with an afro. Frank Schiffen will give away the Apollo to the first person he sees wearing a blue dashiki when the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, Afros are going to be trying to straighten their heads, and straightened heads are going to be trying to wear Afros when the revolution comes. When the revolution comes, when the revolution comes, when the revolution comes. But until then, you know, and I know, niggas will party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party. Some might even die before the revolution comes. That party and bullshit and party and bullshit. Some might recognize that from uh, uh, Biggie Smalls, right? Or Biggie, one of his uh, first hits, right? was party and bullshit. Yo, I think it's really important that we hear that um, because it, it's the beginning. Now we can jump right into the revolution will not be televised. All right, this is the revolution will not be televised by Gil Scott Heron. Let's get right into it. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop, cop out. out. You will not be able to lose yourself on Skag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by Xerox and four pipes <laughs> without commercial interruptions. The revolution will not show you pictures of Nixon blowing a bugle and leading a charge by John Mitchell, General Abrams, and Spiro Agnew to eat hog moths confiscated from a Harlem sanctuary. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by the shape of a war theater and will not star Natalie Woods and Steve McQueen or Bullwinkle and Julia. The revolution will not give your mouth sex appeal. The revolution will not get rid of the nub. The revolution will not make you look five pounds thinner because the revolution will not be televised, brother. There will be no pictures of you and Willie Mae pushing that shopping cart down the block on the dead run or trying to slide that color TV into a stolen ambulance. NBC will not be able to predict the winner at 8.32 on the court from 29 District. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of Whitney Young being run out of Harlem on the rail with a brand new process. There will be no slow motion or still life of Roy Wilkins strolling through what in a red, black, and green liberation jumpsuit that he has been saving for just the proper occasion. Green Acres, Beverly Hillbillies, and Hooterville Junction will no longer be so damn relevant, and women will not care if Dick finally got down with Jane on search for the <laughs> black people will be in the street looking for a brighter day. The revolution will not be televised. <clears throat> There will be no highlights on the 11 o'clock news and no pictures of Harry R. Women Liberationist and Jackie Onassis blowing her nose. The theme song will not be written by Jim Webb or Francis Scott Key. No. Or sung by Glenn Campbell, Tom Jones, Johnny Cash, Engelbert Humperdinck on the rare earth. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be right back after a message about a white tornado, white lightning, or white people. You will not have to worry about a dove in your bedroom, the tiger in your tank, or the giant in your toilet bowl. <laughs> the revolution will not go better with coat. The revolution will not fight germs that may cause bad breath. The revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live. Yeah, I wanted to let that ride so that we could really understand the context. There's a lot of references there <coughs> um, that I don't know that you really need to know for this type of breakdown. 
Um, so I just wanted to play those before we get into Toby Wigway uh, so we know exactly kind of the tone and what he's going for. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right into Tony Wigway. The revolution will not be televised. You ain't gonna be able to stay home, my G. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to log in, scroll up, and cap out. Mm. You ain't gonna be able to pop a zanny or down a brew during commercials because the revolution. Yo, he's saying, like, yo, you're not gonna be able to, to just pass this up like it's not happening. You're not gonna be able to uh, just go on with everyday life. You're not gonna be able to, to not play a part in this. My G. <clears throat> you ain't gonna be able to log in, scroll up, and cap out. You ain't gonna be able to pop a zanny or down a brew during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be on social media. The revolution will not be brought to you by fashion overworn by your favorite luscious looking IG model. <laughs> the revolution will not show you images of self-proclaimed patriots scaling capital walls like Miles Morales amidst newly discovered spider powers. No. Oh. Will not show you images of self-proclaimed. Wow, I don't think I I didn't realize that this was after um the donald trump presidency uh after the what happened uh, uh you know where we had the uh, basically attacking the capital on by your favorite luscious looking ig model the revolution will not show you images of self-proclaimed patriots self-proclaimed patriots miles newly discovered uh, miles morales is the most recent uh was one of the most recent spider-mans from the spider-verse right where they're playing that eh eh Eh, that Post Malone. That was actually a really good movie. I'm not really into the Marvel and Spider World and all that, but I watched it. It was it was really good. Self-proclaimed patriots scaling capital <laughs> walls like Miles Morales amidst newly discovered spider powers. <laughs> the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by the Recording Academy, the Oscars, or the Emmys. And it won't be hosted by Jimmy Fallon. Because <laughs> he hosts everything. Or anything as white as the bread used in Jimmy John. <laughs> the revolution will not give you full lips like melanated queens. Yeah. The revolution won't or be kings. To provide you a flat tummy. The revolution won't train your waist to be thinner because the revolution will not be televised, my G. There will be no images of the culture ransacking high-end fashion house storefronts with claims that it's time for them to get back to the hood. CNN won't be able to predict the swing from red to blue deep down south round about them sweet Georgia peaches. <laughs> the red and blue is obviously Republicans, Democrat, um, the Democrats when there's a CNN is really some would argue that they're more liberal, right? They're more blue, um, but they try to have an unbiased approach to delivering the news. And then won't be able to predict the swing from red to blue deep down or a swing south state. Sweet Georgia peaches. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no images of unarmed black fathers being gunned down by poorly trained coward badge wearers. Ugh. There will be no images of unarmed black fathers being gunned down by poorly trained cowards wearing a badge. There will be no supernatural twerkers to distract you from the workers of iniquity. <laughs> there will be no clubs open solely promoting everything you need to feed your insecurities. Wow. Bro, what he... When he gets into... This is why I'm such a fan of Toby Wigway. Uh, for most people that know me... Uh, they would definitely say I'm very verbose, right? I, I love talking. My wife is like, I swear you like hearing your own voice, right? But, uh, you know, Toby, I'm, I, I almost have to remember that I'm doing a breakdown because I, I don't know this work, right? And it's just so involved in what he's saying. It's just like, wow. This thing, I don't know if we ever heard somebody go this deep on a track. It's just, it's like the, just truth, but in a just in your face, beautiful, artistic way. Um, so hard to explain. Down by poorly trained coward badge wearers. There will be no images of unarmed black fathers being gunned down by poorly trained cowards wearing a badge. Mm. There will be no supernatural twerkers to distract you from the workers of iniquity. There will be no clubs open solely promoting everything you need to the feed your insecurities. <laughs> Thursdays, Fridays, <laughs> live on Sundays. Will no longer be the epicenter for hype beats from all walks of life. And people will not care if Kanye and Kim's relationship survives on the <laughs> and keeping up with the Kardashians. Bro, it's so crazy, right? It's I, I get into this a lot where I feel like I'm one of a million. Uh, sometimes where I want to talk about something intellectual or something political. And I go to my friends or I go to people in the neighborhood. Or, and it's just like people don't care about what's going on in the world around them. 
but they care about the dumbest things, right? Like they know everything about Kim and Kanye's relationship and his relationship with that Julia Fox girl and who Kanye's separated with and what his kids are doing and what he's wearing. And they cover them like it's the royal family of the U.S., <clears throat> but they don't know anything about what's going on in Ukraine and Russia, right? They don't know about the last election, um, but they just take little clips and they just repeat them. And a lot of people just share things that they don't quite understand online before researching them. And it's just a sad time for humanity. Why? Because black people will be in the streets not looking for, but creating a brighter day. <laughs> the revolution will not be on social media. There will be no dance routines on TikTok and no visuals with smooth transitions or voiceovers to help you kiki the day away. <gasps> the theme song for the revolution won't be written by Francis Scott Keys. <coughs> Francis, uh, Francis Scott Keys wrote the, uh, the Star Spangled Banner. The theme song for the revolution won't be written by Francis Scott Keys. The revolution won't be directed by Steven Spielberg, mm -hmm. nor sung by Taylor Swift <laughs> or Billy Irish. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be right back after a message about a white tornado or white, city, <laughs> or white people. You won't have to worry about your package from Amazon arriving safely to reveal the unnecessary items you purchased. Damn, that's so real. You won't have to worry about if your new iPhone will have the same capabilities as your previous one because the revolution will not be on social media. The revolution won't be seen on a mantle like Louis XIII. Ooh. The revolution ain't gonna be where the money resides, but the revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be on social media. The revolution will not be televised. Will not be televised. Will not be televised. The revolution will not be a rerun, my G. The revolution will be live. Wow. Said it won't be a rerun, right? We're not doing a repeat. Uh, you know, the, oh, what does it say? Oh, the fist. Yo, that's a fist. Yo, that's sick. Wow. I did not expect that, but you do expect that from Toby, right? Uh, man, if you guys are a fan of intellectual breakdowns, uh, if you guys are a fan of uh, intellectual music, right? Like, like Toby Wigway. Man, we got over 70 breakdowns, like in-depth breakdowns of Toby Wigway's work. Make sure you check out that playlist. And if you like something, like it, subscribe to the channel. We're definitely going to continue going through his catalog and also highlight any new music that he puts out. We look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.